Tyler the Creator, man. Chromacopia yes. is the name of his new mm -hmm. project. Uh, it's also slated to do 250 to 300 on mm -hmm. his first week's release. That's crazy. Isn't it? Isn't it? And Reggie, I, mm -hmm. I wanted to give a quick shout out to Tyler for setting the precedent for dropping his album on a Monday. Mm -hmm. Because how good did it feel to get an album on a Monday and to sit with it throughout the week? I, okay, we all know that the Midnight Friday drops happened because literally, it literally was Beyonce. It is credited to her. It changed the world with a digital drop. Like, she literally, she changed <laughs> yeah. everything. Yeah. But what it used to be in the good old days, mm -hmm. everything used to drop on a Tuesday because, you know, it's better for the chart cycle. And that was just, you know, the new music day was literally Tuesday for everybody across the board. Yeah. And then somehow something changed. But then Tyler now is the one to be like, hey, guys. I want to not do a Friday drop. I understand. He literally did an interview. He was like explaining his reasoning. He's like, I understand that when people drop on Fridays, now it's the weekend, everyone's distracted, and then you forget about the album. Like he had these reasonings. Yeah. And us as music lovers, we're like, this is what we've been saying this entire time, y'all. Yeah. So almost like it's a no-brainer, or this should have been happened. Right? right? Like mm -hmm. we all we all agree, but I guess people are. It's just like such a system now. Mm -hmm. And he literally dropped his new album on a Monday at six a.m. That's amazing. Yeah, at the like, beginning of the week, and you can listen to it on yes. your commute. You know, you just took the words out of my on your commute, right? <laughs> yeah. Most people have jobs. <laughs> right? I would I would hope so. I yeah. would hope no. Yeah, it's this thing on the internet that everyone just thinks like. We're going to talk about this today as well, I think. The influencer uh, industry is projected to do about $500 billion in the year 2027. I believe wow. it. Yeah. Anyway, a lot of people work, and a lot of people have their own schedule. Shit, people plan their whole schedule around when we release our podcast, yeah. right? Aww. It's the same with music. So to receive a project on Monday and really sit with it throughout the week... It's way better than That's going so into the weekend when you're what you think about on Saturday, laundry, mm -hmm. uh, an outing potentially. Not bring back about no the Tuesday music. releases. That's what Reggie was just saying. Mm -hmm. Bring them back. That's what Reggie. Just bring them back. Yes. And I'm glad because it's gonna take the people of the Tyler the Creator magnitude. Mm -hmm. It's yes. gonna take that love voice. of artists to really shift shit and shake shit up. Yes. You I know agree. what's so crazy? He dropped it on a Monday, but he didn't even drop it at midnight. And he tweeted. He was like. You guys, you guys don't have to stay up and lose sleep to wait for my album. I'm going right. to drop it at 6 a.m. I'm like, this is so, like, Thoughtful. can we not just keep doing this, please? Like, this is amazing. Thank you. I like, agree. Regardless I agree. of how I feel about Tyler to create his music, I <laughs> Oh, shit. What you mean? You Why just, you say that? You just starting off with the hate. No, nah, keep going. Hey, I'm, I, 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 said how, hate. I said how I feel okay. about his music. <laughs> it's literally never been for me. And that is okay. It that's doesn't fine. mean yeah. that I can't that's appreciate fine. his no, genius. That's fair. That's fair. It doesn't mean that I can't appreciate appreciate his innovation. Yeah. Um, the uniqueness of how he goes about creating music. I have just never felt compelled to listen to his bodies of work. Same. Yeah. But it doesn't mean like, oh shit, he's not great because I feel that way. Everything is not for everybody, and I'm At okay all. with saying that, right? Facts. But I do understand his influence. I do understand his position in this game. I think it's really dope. I forgot who was talking about it, but I did hear somebody talk about it in the media about how the West Coast... Oh, you know what? It was Rory. I think Rory gave Tyler, the creator, a shout-out in being that he's always said... He's always represented, hey, I'm from the West. I'm from L.A. Yeah. I'm from California, but nobody ever really acknowledged him until as of late when a lot of the more trendier, a lot of the more sociably acceptable artists kind of faded out. I don't want to name names, but there's a lot of artists from the West Coast who really was on that West Coast gang gang shit. But now their music is no longer relevant. And so it's cool to herald and to kind of um, appreciate Tyler, the creator, in a way that he hasn't been appreciated in the past by West Coast, by the West Coast in general. Even his earlier projects, um, Bastard and Goblin, they were more like uh, shock, shocking type of things, right? What's, mm -hmm. the, what's the term for that? Um, I think they, they were just unique. Yeah, yeah. So like outrage marketing. Yeah, yeah, outliers. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of, but like more like outrage marketing I don't know. a bit. I do not agree with that point at all. Mm -hmm. I feel like mm -hmm. LA has always been obsessed with Tyler the Creator because I have a lot of LA friends and like he's always been that guy. Like since we were in middle school. Yeah. I don't know if I agree with the oh we had to wait for the West Coast people so to I, fade I, out. I think is I want to add to this. I think it's two different things. I think the more eclectic side of LA always appreciated Tyler the Creator. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, Tyler don't come from the Hoovers, the Bloods and the Crips, right? So maybe the, on the gang gang tip, right? Like maybe fans of the game might not abreast a person like Tyler. I'm so glad you mentioned the game because yeah. I was going to say in the Mount Rushmore of the West Coast over the last 20 years, yeah. I think before 
this year or even the last two years, Tyler, the creator, may have not even been mentioned on that Mount Rushmore. Obviously, really? we got Kendrick. Recently? I, per, on, I, I'm here to tell you, I, I think they've been doing that. No, he even said on this album. Yeah. I don't think that the West Coast, and again, I, I, I agree with Rory. I don't think the West Coast really appreciated him or gave him the platform or the support in saying, hey, I am the West Coast. I'm a part of the West Coast. I, and I, so, don't, agree. I, I don't agree. Because, I think it's more gang gang shit. Because niggas not, is conflating. Not, not just the gang gang shit, but yeah. just in general, like, we've just equated him to being weirdo rap. Yeah, but look I, how I just look, like I don't. I'm, 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 I'm not like, accepting it, but that's no, no, no. what he's. He, Wait, but what? He, that's what I'm saying. Right, that's, but that's why I was saying more eclectic. When we've when we've thought about and named West Coast artists mm-hmm. over the last ten years, yeah, Tyler the Creator has not been categorized as he is a West Coast artist. I mean, because the West Coast symbolizes something different than what Tyler has been. And I think I just know. until recently, we've been able to look at him and say, oh, shit, he's West Coast. Because I think the climate of music is just changing. As recently as, like, 2017? I just feel like, okay, like, I feel like this is an unfair, you know, correlation to make. Because I don't think he's more popular and appreciated now because the West Coast yeah, ra- no. rappers have faded out. I think he's just making better projects in the recent years. And people are like, whoa, he's really fucking talented and, and that's why he's blowing up like i agree with that and not for nothing our future wolf gang was always embraced mm-hmm. if anything i would call them the asap mob of the west right like i just remember being people being big fans of not just him but the internet um haji frank ocean right like mm-hmm. that entire earl set of Fletcher. earl of course yeah. right like that entire set of i don't i don't know i don't agree with that but you're right when it comes to all the gang members and things like that yeah they might not spend some time to creator and i get it it's, it's a bit different but like you said, it really is some good music. As I'm listening to the album, I'm thinking to myself, I'm Wait, like... I said it was good music? I, I said it was good music. Yeah, I, 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 don't I don't said it. I said it. I said it. I said I understand. I don't think I said that shit was good. Nah, that shit is good. No, yo. it's good for yeah. the people who think it's good. This guy's a podcast, for sure. It sounds like... um, He sounds like The Roots, Kanye West, and um, forgetting someone else just had a baby. Mm-hmm. Like when I hear his music, the production style, you got to watch out for these artists who are artists and producers mm-hmm. because they make music that their ear picks up on. Right. Mm-hmm. When I was listening to his album, I'm like, yo, I think some of these beats would sound terrible if somebody else got on them. Mm-hmm. But that's the power of being able to create on the spot. Right. Like your ear for things is so much more different than someone else, right? Like, if someone else got those pack of beats that he created for his album and project, we don't get the same product back. They would have done something completely different. Completely different. And I don't think I like, I would like it, I'm going to be honest with you. But he's somehow able to kind of do it and garner it in a way where I'm like, yo, dog, this guy is creative as fuck. I don't know how he continues to do he's it. He's so creative. I oh, don't fuck with it. I just got it. I don't know how you can say that. He sounds like if Pharrell, The Roots, and Kanye had a baby. I agree. Even the subject matter yes. on this project, like, not even so, in such an obvious sense of, like, what Alex is saying, like, obvi- I feel like a lot of people will agree with that, but even the subject matter, like, the growth and, like, the thoughts that he's having on this album, there yes. are a lot of parallels between, like, 808s and Heartbreak. Like, there's so many yeah. similarities that you could draw, yes. and I love that because I feel like, even though Tyler's older than us, I kind of feel like he has a slightly younger Demo. audience for some reason, I don't know. And so I'm glad that that generation has Tyler to yeah. like do these types of things and like fall in love with these types of songs by him and have someone to look up to like that. Yeah. I love people who are unapologetically themselves. He's that. And that's what he is. Yeah, Despite, and again, when you create art, when you make art, when you draw on a blank canvas, when you put out a song, when you create a poem, yeah. when you put out a movie, write a movie, whatever it is, when you create art, you leave it for people to judge it. It is subjective to who that person is receiving the art, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So the art is not going to resonate with everybody. Mm-hmm. And that is okay, right? Yeah. But I think as a consumer, it is our responsibility to judge it fairly. And even if I never get in my car and I <laughs> never put this motherfucker <laughs> on at all, I can appreciate his genius. And I think there's a lot of people who may be like, yo, who is he? Why is he? What is he? Oh, but I get who he is yeah. at the end of the day. And I'm just one of those people. Like, it's 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 not for it's never been for me though. Like I've had old friends who used to put me on to like the whole wave of our future and you know, like 
um, their merch, their clothing brand, everything that they stood for, the different members. I think a great equivalent to anybody who's in our age demographic is the ASAP movement, right? Yeah. ASAP, they had their own movement. East Coast. And our future, they had their own movement. And as we see, and it's kind of ironic, I never even thought about it, but ASAP Rocky and Tyler, the creator, are like best friends now. Very close. And so to kind of see yeah. them be the leaders of those movements and still kind of exist in this world is really dope. But it doesn't mean that their music has to be for me. It doesn't mean that I have to love it in that way. I can appreciate what it is that they bring to the ecosystem of hip hop and of rap because I think what Tyler does is very unique. And again, I just appreciate anybody who says, yo, fuck you, this is who I am. Yeah, and he's a heavyweight. Like anybody who could call himself a real N-word and a bad bitch. <laughs> I was going to get this in that. I respect, like, you got to respect. I love that line. I yeah. respect it. Like, I don't have to identify with being a bad bitch. I don't. Yeah. Like, when I look at myself in the mirror, I don't be like, oh, shit. You don't I'm say a bad bitch. You don't say you a baddie. I don't think I'm a bad bitch. Come on, you need some affirmations in your life. But <laughs> the other half of what he says is, <laughs> I'm a real N-word. Right. So... I got to respect that. Like, I got to respect the all-encompassing art and, of who he is. And I got to respect um, people who are willing to experiment and try new things in their sound and in their music. I feel like he's kind of spoiled because, again, he, eclectic fan base, they kind of know that he's going to go against the grain of what other hip-hop music is going to sound like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But artists like him are actually able to go down a wicked rabbit hole of, yo, let's try these sounds out, right? And... Other fan bases, I think, are just a bit more fickle, where they won't allow for their favorite artist to try some shit. Like, yeah, they'll be like, what the fuck is this? With Tyler, they expect it. Mm -hmm. they, expect for, they expect for each album to have a different theme. 